So welcome to the Manga Sensei channel, and today we're talking about the number 7, which I personally think is kind of a cool kanji just because some of the symbols and etymology it has going on, but let's talk about that. So of course this symbol means the number 7. As we've gone through, we've now talked about for a whole week the kanji number 7 today. So 7 is Okay, let's talk about the Onin Kun readings before I want to go in order so we kind of get used to this habit. The Onin reading here is Shichi. Now, the Kun reading here is a lot easier to memorize because you just think na 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 seven instead of, you know, Batman or na 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 no. I don't know what you guys are going to use to memorize this. An easier way for me is to understand things with pictures, which is why if you follow me on Instagram, I draw kanji and put pictures behind them to help you memorize them. But shichi is the number for seven or nana. Um, for example, you'll read things like shichigatsu and nanoka for the days, but we'll get into that in just a second. Let's talk about the cool etymology of this kanji, where this kanji comes from. So this kanji comes from a, a couple of things. Um, the first thing is it comes from a, the fish hook. If you look at the first part of this symbol, just the hook down here, you can kind of see it there. And then that line right through the middle is the symbol is the katakana no in fact a lot of the katakana came from or kanji and katakana came from kanji and eventually morphed to be just to fit the japanese sounds and syllabary so if you're familiar with katakana you'll see the he down below he, the he katakana actually came from the number seven so you can kind of see how closely they look together in fact the only difference is the line goes through on the nana instead of all just stops where it does with the he but if you think of it this way you think i have nine fish hooks then you can kind of see you know sick the image there of the fish hook is at least to me very obvious and then we have the no but i didn't catch anything kind of a thing going on let's talk about the jukugo the jukugo or the common words that are used with this are shichigatsu Shichi, is the word for july now um you'll see that we are using both the onyomi and the kunyomi when we're talking about things. And some of them we'll use, even though they're combined in words, are going to be using the onyomi versus the kunyomi. And that's just simply how people are saying things. So we want to use the thing that's most common for people, right? Um, like nano, like uh, sh, uh, sh, sh, nanaju, which is 70. Um, shichiju, I've heard people say that, but it's technically incorrect if you want to be prescriptive about things, which I tend not to be. But nanaju, nanaju ichi, nanaju ni is the 70s, right? 70. Nanaju dai would be someone in their 70s. And then we have, of course, the nanoka, which is the seventh day of the month. So if your birthday is on uh, July 7th, you would say, shichigatsu no nanoka wa chando. I can speak, I promise. With that, though, thank you so much for tuning in and meeting with me again, at, like I do every single day, breaking down the world's best language on my podcast, Learn Japanese with Manga Sensei, and now here on YouTube. So please like, share, hit the little notification bell as well if you'd like to get emails every single day from me saying, hey, I uploaded another video. And my website, as always. With that, though, I will sign off. Remember to make mistakes, and I will catch you tomorrow. Until then, Johnny.